Yep. So what can I do? Tell. Don't. You can hold the camera. Okay. What do you think of this wheel? Um, I did add, so it's very good and likely, so the tyre's off. Yeah. And you make the whole, you got the whole out, and it's doing explanations, yeah. so it sounds more, because you could do it on the internet. Yeah. To send it to someone. Okay. Or one of your friends. Yeah. Um, so, so you put those bits. Yeah. And they're very oily and dirty, okay? Yeah, yeah. And you need to try and do stuff to make it. Well, you need to uh, make sure that these are all tight. Ah, so you need to, t so you need to try and make to put them in very yeah. tightly. Yes. Okay. Do you know why? Why? Well, because it makes the wheel stay round instead ah. of wobbly. Yeah. All right. Right. Cut. Cut. It's always great fun getting Seth's help in uh, bike building or maintenance. So, long-term review on uh, the SRAM Rome Thirties. Well, they've taken a lot of beating. They have stayed up whilst being tubeless, uh, which is pretty good, but getting tyres on a SRAM Rome 30 has been pretty hard work. You can see here a lot of flat spots, a lot of dinks, a lot of dents. They are sort of four and a half years old, I suppose, four or five years old. The guys that trued them last time in a workshop said couldn't really guarantee much, and they stayed true for, or well, semi-true for about 10 minutes. So if you see these second hand, I'd probably bypass them. There's lots of better choices out there. You might pick them up for 15 to 30 pounds from what I've seen anyway. As a, as a spare go-to, you know, they're actually not too bad. The bearings have lasted reasonably well. I've changed them twice in the time that I've owned them, which is about three years now, close to three years. So they've done okay. I've upgraded obviously to the DT Swiss, much better wheel. Can see along the line of the rim that it's pretty beggared. Another one there. Basically, after getting back from holiday, I can't even believe how wobbly this wheel was. I must have just grown so acclimatized to it. All right, so now we've got the spline two, DT Swiss, wider. Uh, they're round. You never know; these things are second hand, so might need a trim. Pink bike's good. But I'm going to get them thrown on, put together, and uh, we'll see how we get on. That's where I've got to do this interlock brake adapter. So let's crack on. I'm going to go with a bit of Loctite just on this center lock adapter, just a touch. And you get this little adapter here, and that slides over the top. And obviously, I guess the aim is to get it tightened down as effectively as possible. I'm sorry for the hand operated camera stuff here because since so coming back from holiday, my tripod's still in the car. Anyway, there we go, you get the idea. That sits on there action indeed so we got the bottom bracket tool which is what we needed now i just let's... took one picture okay well that's fine just keep filming so we're going to tighten this up nice and tight that should do it it's 40 newton meters but i've got a guesstimate okay so it's 17 seconds now 80 now 90. Okay. i'll tell you when it's a full minute oh it won't be a full minute there we go we're tight we're good so you can stop filming that so even after the first ride i can tell you these wheels are really so much better they are actually quite considerably heavier but they're way way nicer rated way tougher i'm going to enjoy them they do need a slight truing see you soon but take care fair enough